questions on those two. Looks like first up is Bennett Durando. Go ahead, Bennett. I've got a, a two-part question for Shannon. Um, first, I'm, I'm just curious what you've sort of done to try and stay uh, sort of in the right mindset while serving out the transfer thing and um, just if you've been antsy to get back on the floor in an actual game setting. And then second, with, uh, with Lauren Hansen getting immediate eligibility, does, that, does it sort of make you any uh, happier that she gets to play right away knowing what it's like to sort of have to wait through it? Um, yeah, I'm definitely really keen to get on the court. Um, it feels like it's been so long since I've actually played. Um, but I also think that the red shirt year was very beneficial to me, like to me with like coming from the mountain West, like that's a strong conference, but here there's a lot bigger bodies, a lot faster pace. So I feel like that year really prepared me, um, for this year. Um, as for Lauren, I think she's ready to go. I'm so happy that, and I, I know we all are so happy that she's eligible to play straight away. And I think that she's going to be a really big boost for us. So we're all definitely excited about that news. Next up, Colin O'Brien from Jeff City News Tribune. Go ahead, Colin. Hey, Haley, this one's for you. Um, Coach Pynchon was telling us earlier that she has been really impressed with the depth of this team, particularly as, as far as scoring goes. And I was just curious, um, who, who do you think is going to stand out on offense, this team that, that we haven't maybe seen play from Mizzou yet? Um, I think really, I mean, I agree with her. We have so much depth, so it's kind of hard to pick like a specific person to just stand out because I honestly think on any given night, um, we'll have a different leading score and you know, different people will stand out. And I think that will be a really great thing for our team because it'll make us that much harder to guard and that much harder to prepare for. But uh, all of our new incoming players, um, have the capabilities to score, and it's going to be really fun this year, I think. Michael Halley from the Man Eater, go ahead. Michael. I got Sorry, a Michael for, Halley uh, from Shannon. the Man Eater. Uh, yeah, I got a question for Shannon. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Um, yes, we with, can go uh, ahead. So you've got a uh, with uh, Sarah Smith joining the team, how cool is it to be playing in the United States with another uh, Australian? Um, yeah, I love having Australians on the team. Like at my other school, I had Aussies, and I just feel like that, I mean, her coming in as a freshman, I've tried to just be that like role model for her, make everything easier. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm definitely excited to have someone from home in uh, Colombia. Colin O'Brien has got another question. Go ahead, Colin. Hey, Shannon. Uh, I, I know the team maybe struggled a little bit last season on the boards, uh, and I'm just curious um, what, what you and Ladeja maybe hope to bring to the team uh, as, a, as a post presence this season. Um, yeah, definitely boards is going to be something that, I mean, we already have focused on a lot. Um, I know that for myself, I want to go in there and just – I mean, just the hustle plays, just getting those boards that we, I mean, wanted to get last year. I feel like we've all developed in that area this year. It's not only going to be Ladeja and I, it's the girls that have coming, are coming back from last year. Um, but it's definitely going to be one of our main focuses um, this year. Kyle Pinnell from The Man Eater. Yeah, this question's for Haley. And I'm just curious, um, playing with a player like Asia, how does she open up your game and uh, how you play on the basketball court? Uh, I think she's just a, such a strong and aggressive player. Uh, people have to help on her um, or she's going to have like easy buckets at the basket every time. So, you know, one of my strengths is three point shooting and just able to stretch the floor. So um, I think that those two styles complement each other very well. So when she's able to drive and create, then it um, creates open looks for me. Bennett Durando from the Post Dispatch. Go ahead, Bennett. This one's for both of you guys. I'm, I'm just curious with everyone having to quarantine for those first two weeks of practice and everything, um, it's sort of tough to maybe gel together as a team a little bit more. Uh, have you guys, has there been like a single highlight or a thing that you guys have done together in terms of team bonding? Sorry, I hate to put you on the spot. <laughs> 
it's definitely been more interesting, I think, the team bonding just because we have to be careful, like, not to um, – with, like, contact tracing and stuff. But, you know, we've gotten together and just done dinners together and stuff like that, um, you know, just getting together, having conversations just about, like, our backgrounds and our families and stuff. And then I think even, too, when we were in quarantine, we had – we were still allowed to do conditioning together. So we'd get up early in the morning, it'd be dark out and we'd have to go to like the practice football field and do conditioning together. And so I think even just like that kind of brings you closer in a way. All right, and it looks like we'll wrap up with Ben Hockman from the Post-Dispatch. Go ahead, Ben. Hey there, uh, for, for both players, can you describe some ways that Coach Pinchton has shown her Coach Pinchton Ness during this uh, during this off season. I'm going to say firstly, so over the off season, since we're all, I mean, spread out across the world, um, we did a lot of like Zoom calls, and I think that I mean, just bringing that family culture and family environment that she preaches about Mizzou, I think that's something that definitely brought us closer together. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I mean, it was definitely hard over everyone's was so spread out. So Zoom was you know, pretty much what we had to do everything on. But just the focus of like every meeting was um, just the culture, like we talk about all the time with this program and that family like togetherness. Um, and so we really just keyed on like how we could be closer, a better family and uh, just things that would translate when we did get to come together. Um, so I think that right there just shows like what her mentality is and her focus of just you know, wanting to be a closer family and because that's really what's going to translate on the court. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much for the time, guys. Appreciate it.